So when it comes to painting, I've been using my little homemade wet palette. Just a shallow piece of Tupperware, or you know, food box, uh, a wet uh, towel, and then this wax paper. Just happens to fit. This is the one. And then I just slap it on here, and then I add my paint, and I add some water in here, and it keeps it all wet and keeps it from drying out. And then if I don't use all the paint, I just cover it up. So that's a very, it's been very effective so far. But I went on AliExpress and I found this. It was like five dollars, so I figured I'd try it out. It says uh, MS067 is the part number. That's the brand, but it's in Chinese, so I can't make that out. Oh, here it is. Weibo. W E I. W E I. B O. Okay. Oh well though. I think that's an I. It's really small. Okay. <coughs> Let's see how this thing goes. Well, you got two brushes, so I guess that doesn't hurt. You know, they're not the nicest brushes, but they're pretty much free. Uh, yeah, even actually, they're definitely not nice because the hairs aren't even uh, lined up very well. So, but this one would be good for dry brushing. Uh, dry brushing some tones on. This sticker, I don't think I need that. Let's see if this is easy to take off. Nope, it's one of those stickers that isn't easy to take off. Well, eventually I'll clean it off. No big deal. All right, so this comes with extra sheets, as you can see. It's quite interesting. The back side is like, um, it's almost like a COVID mask, you know, one of those surgical masks like that uh, randomly spun plastic fiber. Uh, I don't know if that's a barrier because this side here, this, this is a different sheet entirely. This is a piece of wax paper. So what I think is actually you have a couple diff two different things here. Uh, hopefully I won't tear it. Well, I tore it. So I'm assuming this this sponge-like, almost COVID mask-like thing goes on top of the sponge here. And then this is the final barrier to put your paint on. Okay, but I don't... I guess that's a nice touch. I mean, I've been working with just the wax paper, uh, so I don't think, uh, if I run out of this, I don't care. I'll just cut up other wax paper. The actual sponge is pretty thick here. I'm a little curious. It's uh, 15 millimeters or like half an inch. I guess 16 millimeters, but it's a relatively dense sponge. Okay, and then you'll see here, oh, this is interesting. I thought this was going to connect. This is totally sealed off. So this is just a chamber to get extra paint off of your um, brushes. And there's a piece of metal in here. I didn't expect this to be metal, but uh, I guess you probably fold this down. Basically, it keeps your brush from uh, bottoming out on the plastic and ruining it. Okay, so that goes back in here. And so you could just take your brush, you know, and do that. And then all the paint will go to the bottom, and the top part of the water will stay clean, in theory. But I was on the impression on the AliExpress listing that there would be holes here. And so I filled this with water, and it would continually soak the sponge. But no, you're going to have to add water to both sides. I guess that actually does make sense, though, because if you start getting dirty water in here, you don't want that dirty water to be sucked up into your sponge and ruining your paint up on top of the, on top of the wax paper. So, yeah, I guess my thinking just doesn't make sense. These guys did it smart. So it's pretty small. Um... The actual width of this box is uh, seven centimeters or two and uh, three quarters ish. And boy, that's too long for my ruler, so I cannot say. But 15, maybe 21 centimeters. <laughs> I don't know what that is in inches, so I abandoned that measurement system. And then the actual height here is like 
25 millimeters or one inch. <clears throat> All right. All right, I'm gonna do a little painting of this little figure. So let's get this palette going, see how it works. Uh, so here's a sponge. I'm gonna just fill this. Well, I guess I'll fill up this tank first, the cleaning tank. I do kind of wish this thing was clear. You know, if it was clear, you'd clearly see how much water was in it and also what kind of paint you might have left in it. All right, so that metal thing, you know, doesn't float, obviously. Now, I'm curious if it's going to soak up all the way around. So far, no. I'm just going to continue pouring in the middle here, and let's see if it... Uh, Hmm. Yeah, see, it's hard to see. If this was clear plastic, you would know exactly how much water is in there. So that's uh, the first thing I've no uh, noticed as a flaw. So it seems like this sponge does not want to wick up moisture. You you've seen me pour quite a bit of water in here now. Right? Unless this is just, this sponge just absorbs a lot of water, I guess. All right, clearly there's water here. All right, I'm not sure if you're gonna see it, but uh, I can see the water line now. It's around a little over a half, maybe two thirds full. So now we're going to put this like spun piece of plastic fabric in there. Again, I'm not sure if it's really necessary. And then lastly, the, the wax paper. Okay, well, it feels wet. You know, this wax paper is passing some moisture through. Although it's curling up on the edge, I'm not sure if uh, that's a good thing, right? <coughs> Let's see, I'm gonna get some colors out. I pretty much use uh, Vallejo paints because they're water-based. Okay, painted this uh, hair already. Let's clean this brush out here in the basin. You know what? Yeah, I think it would be good to just keep a dry rag. Sometimes the brush is just a little too wet from uh, cleaning it. Uh, where's the gold? I gotta get a little gold on these buttons here. This isn't rocket science, but I guess I'll just blend some paints together. There's a little yellow here, this orange. Yeah, so the wax paper, you can clearly see the paint doesn't really want to stick to it. You know, it's like, it's like pooling up. So I think that works pretty well. There's not much else to it, really. Uh, if I close the box, you know, unfortunately, <laughs> It's such a dark plastic, I can't see the paints. And also this sticker has to be removed. But at least from the side, I can kind of see how much water is in there. And it's pretty much to the top, actually. It's right right below the, the top is what, you know, got this whole sponge wet. And I would have to assume the sponge being that thick, it's going to take quite a while for those paints to dry out. So I definitely like the metal grate that was provided in the uh, cleaning basin uh, that's nice to have you know it's nice to see that like those metal particles are actually way down below the metal grate now you know because the grate is suspended all right guys well if you want a really small palette yeah i think this is worth getting i guess is it really necessary no it's not because again you could just take a rag, wax paper, and a really shallow piece of Tupperware and have a much bigger palette. The only problem is you don't have a separate uh, basin to wash your brush. 
right? And that's why this box, uh, I think, has its advantages. Thank you for watching today. I'll see you in the next tool-related video.